All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch this movie and then circle back and talk about it. Are you okay? Am I okay? At least I didn't die of hunger waiting for you. How dare you walk out? You didn't know you're hurting me. I'm having a conversation with my wife and you're telling me I'm hurting you? Is there something wrong with you? Are you insane? You didn't know. Come back here. Hey. hey, listen, okay? I love you. And if you do not understand the difference between love and pain, then I have to teach you what pain is. I'm still here, Mom. Everything is fine. Look, my darling, hmm? if it gets difficult, come home. <laughs> what happened to your face? Um, it's nothing. I fell. Thanks, it wasn't Anna. that bad. Jay took care of me. Aww. <laughs> well, me, you have a good man. Did you? You, 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 you told him we've been having issues? Is that, is that what he did? No, no, no. Is, is that what he did? You, no. you told him we've been having issues? No, 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 no. I didn't I did tell them. You, you didn't do what? I didn't. No, no, I, I, I thought that marriage issues are supposed to be settled between couples without interference. See? You. Did I not please What did you do? Listen to what me. What did you do? What do you want me to listen to? I'm pregnant. What? You, you are. And I'm leaving you, Jay. <laughs> What are, you, what are you talking about? I, uh... I can't keep lying and pretending like we're perfect when we both know we're not. What? Jay beats me whenever he's angry. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. I really tried to make this work. I have to stay alive for my baby. I can't do this, Jay. Alright guys, so this one, the lovebirds. It's sad when I have to talk about toxic relationships. It always comes in a lot of forms, shapes, and uh, sometimes it's hard to detect. Sometimes it's like, boom, clear. Either way, somebody is going through mental health issues. Now, in this one, as you guys can see, he beats her at will. But the thing is that she kept trying to protect the marriage, protect him. And that's something that I don't encourage people to do. Because when you keep being worried about the marriage, but then you keep taking the abuse and taking the heat and taking the, um, the torture, the trauma, you know, at some point, you will break down. So if you're dealing with somebody that, that's toxic and you decide to give them a chance, you don't have to give them chance back to back to back. The first time you give them a chance, second time, know that they can change. They are already who they are. So your job is to protect yourself. Protecting yourself means leaving the relationship. Now, ladies, gentlemen, this can happen to anybody. In our other discussion about toxic relationship, I've come across people that would say, ah, if it was me, I'll break a bottle on their head. Oh, I would crash their hammer. I would do this. I would do that. The problem with breaking their head is that if they die you will end up going to jail unless you can prove that it's self-defense at the time of breaking their head if it's premeditated meaning that the argument has ended you thought about it then you now decided to go and pick a bottle and break somebody's head then you're in for a long time in jail the idea is not for you to jump out of the frying pan and now jump into the fire. You jump out of toxic relationship and then you end up in jail. That's not the plan. The plan is for you to get back to sanity, get back to a stable mental health. The best option would be for you to leave the relationship. Live quietly, just like she did. You leave, you leave and you regain yourself back. Don't break people's head. Don't pour people acid. Because all those options or alternatives will still land you in jail, which is probably going to be worse torture than whatever you were going through. I want to do a little appeal here, and that's for both guys and girls. I know that people tend to label themselves as, as being hot-tempered, or you label yourself as you can't control yourself. The truth is that everybody has demons. You know, that lady that you are busy beating every day is the same lady that cooks your food. You get where I'm going. When you flip it around, the same guy 
that you are busy, you know, abusing and raining courses on is the same person that's also taking care of the same family that you are living in. You guys should check your behavior. Check your mindset. You know, if you feel like something is troubling you and you cannot tell your partner, go and find a therapist and talk to her about it. Don't take things out on your family. You know? Don't take things out on your partner. It, it never ends up well, you know, because at the end of the day, when they leave, it's still going to get to you. This is supposed to be your life partner. You know, and all of a sudden, 10 years down the line, they can no longer tolerate you. You know, that says a lot about you. And believe me, nothing will change. Go and find another person. Once you exhibited the same similar character, they are still going to leave again. Maybe it's time that the toxic people actually consider changing their behavior, changing who they are, changing how they act, changing how they respond. If you're somebody that gets angry so fast, check yourself. You can control it. I can get angry so fast. I might choose not to. It doesn't mean I can't. So the same thing applies to anybody. Anybody can choose to get angry or choose to, you know, be a threat to the humans around them. But that doesn't solve anything. Whatever issue that you think you had that made you go off, it can always be addressed. As long as there's life, any issue can be fixed. And if it can be fixed, let it go. Because at the end of the day, as long as there's life, you can still walk yourself back up again. And this applies to every aspect of life. That's about it for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, like, share, follow, subscribe. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios. And as always, I'm here to deliver says